Yes, it's PM with Joel Bray. Stay with the Joel Bray Show as Jackie Collins takes on Willie Reynolds. Now, my last guest tonight needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one because before the show, he told me that if I didn't say something nice about him, he'd give me one. And I'm certainly not going to argue with the man who two years ago retired as undefeated light heavyweight champion. Will you give a welcome, please, to Willie Reynolds? Hello, nice to see you. Oh, <laughs> come and sit down, please. Well, now, Mr. Reynolds, or may I call you Willie? Certainly, Mr. Parkinson. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, well, you happen to be on the wrong channel, mate. Well, all you TV hosts look alike to me. <laughs> all right. I'll stick to Mr. Reynolds. I think a lot of women would like to stick to Mr. Reynolds, Joel. <laughs> well, in that case... Mm. Yeah, now, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You can get her autograph later, Willie. I intend to. Right now, I want a telephone number. Yeah, I see. All right. Well, now, can we talk about this comeback fight of yours? Comeback? I ain't never been away. Well, you retired, Willie. You went to live in Jamaica. Well, I was resting. <laughs> That's not what you said at the time. You said you were finished with the ring. Well, you don't believe everything you read in the papers now, do you, Russell? <laughs> Why, the other day I heard that you were rated the most popular TV personality in High Wycombe. <laughs> Start believing that and you can go barmy. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't by any chance be trying to make a fool of me now, would you, Willie? No, no, you're doing all right on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I can quite see why they call you Willie the Mouth. I can see why they don't call you anything. <laughs> well, Mr Reynolds, are you getting into shape for this fight? He looks in pretty good shape to me, Joel. You know what? I'm making a movie called Black Stud. Are you available? Don't make any appointments for the next couple of days, love. Uh -huh, but can you act? Well, I'm still working on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and how's the wife and the lovely kid is, Willie? They're fine. They're in Jamaica. Good, good, good. Well, now, can we talk for a minute about this man you're going to fight, Jack Straw? No. Well, now, I only wanted to ask... I said no. <laughs> how are you doing, Mike? Seen any good movies lately? All right, Willie, you win. All the time. No one can accuse you of being modest, can they? I've got nothing to be modest about. <laughs> anyway, look, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Good, good, good. What did you think of my last fight? <laughs> oh, he's a killer. <laughs> Winchester Club. Oh, hang on. Yeah, Arthur, it's for you. I'm in conference. Come on, Arthur. This is a big club, not your office, you know. Club? Is that what you call it? Oh, you could have fooled me. The Arthur Daly residence. Barney, you? Have a cigar, Mr. Daly. Oh, that's very nice. Tell Oh, made in Japan. What will they think of ne next? <laughs> Thank you. You came, uh, you came highly recommended. We aim to please, Mr. Mason. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. You don't hear people say that nowadays. What I say is, what's happened to the happy, smiling bus conductors of yesterday? Where have they all gone, eh? And civility in the shops, the friendly Bobby on his bike, the neighbourly comfort when you're sick. It's all gone, Mr. Daly. Dog eat dog nowadays, it is. Are you a fan of the uh, noble art, uh, Albert? Don't mind if I call you Albert, do you? Call me, call me Barney. No, it's, uh, it's Arthur, yeah. actually. Well, these are all my boys, Albert. Every one of them. Remember him, Kid McCoy? Eh? What a grafter that boy was. I took him out of the mines, you know. Set him on top of the world. Rusty Marcello, toughest bugger I ever handled, him. A record as long as your leg. <coughs> GBH, assault and battery. What a pedigree. <laughs> but that's the lad, Willie Reynolds. Light heavyweight champ, three years, retired, unbeat. And what a showman. Guaranteed to put 10,000 bums on seats, even if you caught the bleeding Burmese jungle. What do you, uh, what do you charge for your lad? My lad? Terry McCann. Oh, no, 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 Terry, you gave up boxing years ago. I know, I wept when I heard that, you know that? He'd have gone far that point, could have made a fortune. You reckon? What, were you behind him? I should think so. No, well, I'm not, um, I'm not absolutely sure that he has, uh, entirely given it up. You know, I mean, if the price was right, no, actually, I called you up about a minder. Oh. Uh, yeah, I heard Terry was into that sort of thing, you know. Oh, well, again, the same applies. I mean, if the price is right. 
Name it. What? Name your price. Well, 300 quid a week. Plus expenses. Right. You named your price, now I'll name mine. £150 a week. All in. Forgot the rules. When I'm around, I'll do the talking. You all do the listening. Okay, my children. Here we go. There was a young cat called Jack Straw who thought he could fight. And what's more, he took on the champ but went out like a lamp before he could get to round four. Hey, Willie, Willie, why did you come back? Yeah. You said you never would. Well, the truth was, my friend, I missed all your beautiful faces. Hey, Willie, what do you think of Jack Straw? Who? Willie, do you intend to go... Well, that's it, folks. Spread the news, oh, give a cheer. Oh, oh. Willie boy is here. Oh, yeah. oh, they need more than that, son. Where's that bleeding car? I don't know what's happening. Come on, you take it easy. You get it all worked up. You can take the one hand five behind your back. I don't know what you're doing. Agro's a bad thing, I'll say. Where to? The Duggan place. Hey, you. Hey, you with the wheel. Hey, mate. Pick the right one here, Barney. Who, <laughs> really? My name is McCann. Terry McCann. Are you the minder? Yes. One of the best, Willie. I don't know. It's a bit of a powder puff to me. Hey, watch it! Sorry, sir. Parking, come up, will you? What's the best I can do, Willie? However, your Uncle Barney has found a way to keep your uh, keep your mind occupied. Gordon Bennett. Move him up, Barney. Willie, let's get a few lines uncrossed, shall we? You are the Mersey Mouth. You're the guy people read about in the gossip columns. The man people love to hate. That's why they pay to see you fight. You can't go away for a couple of years, come back doing a great of garbage, and then expect the punters to roll in. Now, wise up, son, wise up. Right, ladies, teeth and tits. Lovely. Now, let's just have one more, like that. Beautiful. You in a bit. Come on, be lovely. OK. Great. Come on, Willie, smile. You're supposed to be enjoying this. OK, Barney. We'll do it your way. You, out. You two girls, make a cup of tea. And you, back here by 8 o'clock. you better get your head down this afternoon, boy. Looks like you're in for a long night. Champagne. Uh, coke for me. You're a real hard man. Coke? Yeah, coke. You don't look like a minder. No, well, I'm moonlighting, ain't I? In the daytime, I'm a brain surgeon. Are you any good? I get by. We'll soon find out. 
shampoo. Hey, look, can I borrow your chassis for a twist? What? On your pins, darling, if you're looking nice, we're gonna dance. We may certainly are not. Go away. I never take no for an answer. Peter, will you deal with this man? When I want you to talk, Godzilla, I'll knock me out. I didn't ask you to talk. Your department, wacko. Ah, look, I'm sorry about this. What is No, no, hold on, don't be silly. Oh! I'm sorry about that, I man. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm sorry about that, Sancho. Now, just calm down, eh? And I'll buy you a drink, all right? McCann, I don't pay you to lie down on the job. I must say, I prefer your left profile myself. Now, I never Welsh on a job, right? Oh, no, you, you are a stayer, Terry. Wet or fine, you have got bottle. That, that, that is the one thing I've always admired about you. Well, this idiot Reynolds only needs a minder because he has to keep going out and getting into trouble so he can keep up his public image. Yeah, that's about the size of it. He's selling tickets on me. Well, noble cause. No, well, I'm not having it. I'm sorry, mate, no. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 Terry, listen, look. Reynolds sells tickets. That is how he is able to pay us £100 a week. He got me into four Barneys last night. Now, I'm not supposed to do that. I can go back to Nick. Look, look, I tell you what, he's going to make a laughing stock of my cut, but I will up your whack to 70 quid. Now, I cannot say fairer than that, can I? Hello? Yes, you can. How? You can say 80. Terry? Hello. I'm sorry to interrupt your conference, Arthur. There's a Burke here called Mather says, where the hell are you? But Terry, he's on his way. He's on his way. There are times, you know, Arthur, when you inspire in me something a bit less than hero bleeding worship. You want to finish that and all? Hey, Dave. What now? Bring us a pair of scissors, will you? We've got one here for the scrapbook. You hate my guts, don't you? Yep. Well, there's no need to beat about the bush. Tell me straight. What a way to earn a living. Why'd you come back? When I retired, I had a nice little wad and a thousand income tax collectors going bar me, trying to get their hands on it. Must be terrible to be rich. Go and be a tax exile, the man said. Live like the elite. Play golf all day. Live like a martini at. Well, it didn't pan out that way. I missed real ale. The missus missed shopping up west. And the kids missed everything from Queen's Park Rangers to Conkers. Yeah, but you didn't have to come back to boxing, did you? We go through our money in two years, right? So I come back to England to work some it out. The first thing that happens is I get rained on. Second thing is this geezer hits me with a tax bill for 20 grand. Now I ask you, where does someone like me raise that kind of dough? Nuclear physics. What's the purse on this fight? 50,000. If you win. I'll win. You reckon? Who the hell's Jack Straw? Stick him on the wall. He's young and he's hungry, which means he's better than you think. Huh. Oh. Oh. Look at me, I'm sweated. Listen, Sunshine, if you want to watch Match of the Day oh. in the bosom of your family, oh. you better pull a jolly old finger out. Do we have to? Don't Mather ever come training with you? Barney, it's too early for him. Oh, you've got real talent in your corner, haven't you? Come on, champ, on your toes. Oh. This is 
Louise Reynolds. Oh, are you Terry? I hope so, otherwise I'm lifting your case. <laughs> your limousine awaits, man. Where are the kids? I had to leave them in school. Going to the fight? No. Oh? I'm no different from most fighters' wives. I hope he wins, but I don't want to see him get knocked about doing it. Yeah. This Jack Straw, is he any good? Don't about good. He's tough. What's he really reckon? Your fella reckons he'll walk it. Really? No. I thought we'd finish with this lark two years ago when he quit. You had some bad luck, eh? What's he told you? He told me you're a bit short. A bit? <laughs> Listen, Mrs Reynolds. Listen, if I promise to behave, can I sit up front with you? Feel free. I know you're in the chauffeur, but um, you can drop the Mrs Reynolds. I'm young enough to be your sister. Uh, Ruth, can you do Willie a favour? How? Tell him he's not fighting rubbish, and if he don't look after himself, he's going to get hurt, and he's going to get beaten. Well, why don't you tell him? Well, I'm only a minder, and anyway... You don't like him? I wouldn't say that. Oh, what would you say? I'd say I can't stand him. A lot of people can't, and I don't mind. But you do care enough to warn him about this bloke's straw. I'm a friend of the family, aren't I? Barney. Oh, hello. It's all happening, I see. <laughs> you reckon? Oh, well, don't you? No, Arthur, I don't think it's all happening. I don't think anything's happening at all. What do you mean? Look at them, no one's trying, are they? A sparring partner couldn't knock Ash off a fag. A sparring partner's not supposed to act rough, are they? There's a difference between acting rough and being a contender for cunt dancing. Look at that. What's the matter? Sorry, Mr. Viper. Twisting my ankle. Oh, poor love. All right, Sam, that's enough now. Come on, Barney, I'm just warming up. Now you don't overdo it, boy. I'll have a go if you like. Just a minute, just a minute. Not scared, are you, Willie? Not scared of a powder puff like me? Let him up. Mm, I think he's looking after Willie at the moment. That's not a bad body, is it, though? Nice bum. Now, watch his right. He drops it when he comes in close. Keep your guard eye and wait for him to telegraph his left. And whatever Arthur, you do... Arthur, go and sit down, eh? Go on, Terry, make him happy. Come on, move, Terry, move! Come on, my son, do it like I showed you. Watch his right, Terry. Hello, what's Listen, Arthur, I hired a minder. Minders ain't supposed to go around walloping their beating clients, are they? Just what I was going to say, Barney. Oh, dear, he's not pleased with you, my son. Not oh, one little dear, bit. oh, dear. What's your game? Never mind about my game. What's his game? Fake. What do you mean, fake? He's got no punches. You could beat him. But he's odds on with the bookies. Jack Straw's 11 to 2 against. Not with odds like that, it's obvious, isn't it, son? Someone's put a fix in. Kept you. I'll see you guys later. Mm. Oh, Willie, 
wait? Well, I've waited two weeks. In training. I know that. Oh, really? I'll see you none then. ...and hand me those lamps. As quick as I can now. <clears throat> come on, come on. How are the kids? Fine. Why do you have to stay in a hotel? Why can't you stay here? Oh, you know damn well, Mark. How are you, kiddo? Willie, this fight. A doddle. This door's no pushover, Willie. He's supposed to be a tough guy. I can handle him. Can you? Of course. Love you know why you quit. Remember what you said then? I know. But it's different now. Is it different? Bruce, did you come all this way just to give me the window? I'm okay. I can take out this Jack Breeden straw or whatever his name is. Then why aren't you training? I mean, why are you sitting up here doing stupid commercials? It's a max game. I think you'd better go back to the hotel. Can you beat him, Willie? Yes. Yes, I can beat him. I'll knock him cold inside four, okay? Satisfied? Now get off me back, Ruth! Hey, kiddo, wait! I'm sorry! Come on up. Help yourself. Willie, get rid of them. You see, man? Clear them out. I want to talk to you. Oh. Sling it. Sling it? Tell him to sling it. Oh. Oh. OK, that's it, everyone. Oh, Willie. Out! Come on, come on. Where's Ruth? That's her mum's. All right, then, Willie. How's it work? Does what work? Oh, come on, there's no need to hide it from me. The fix. I've started to like you, wacko. Don't blow it. Ask me if I'm gonna fall over and knock your bleeding head off. Oh, yeah? Like you did this afternoon, eh? You got a punch like a baby's belt. And if somebody asked you to run ten yards, you'd have a coronary. And look at it! Boost up to the gills every night. Hot and cold running birds in every room. You're really trying you are, aren't you? So what's the deal? Look, straws are no hope. Who told you that, Barney? And others. Well, you're wrong, Sonny. No one pays you to give me advice. Come on. Hey, Willie, see my shoe? Oh, sorry, hold up. Come on upstairs. You landed right on my rotten ankle. I couldn't help it, could I? Yeah. Of course it bleed nerves. Listen, I've seen straw fight and I've seen you fall around. Now, if that's all you've got, you're going to lose. Last fight I had before I quit, I could have sent the bloke home in a doggy bag. Oh, no, I saw it. So why didn't you? It was open house. Giving out invitations. Here's me chin, here's me nose, here's me ribs. Be my guest. It was pathetic. So why'd it go the distance? Couldn't hit him. You saw that today. I've lost it. Lost what? What are you talking about? That feeling in your gut that tells you to kill the other bastard before he kills you. When you're young, when you're hungry, it's no problem. It's easy to make porridge out of a bloke's face. But when you've got it all, when you don't have to prove yourself anymore, what then? You know you're only doing it for the punters. Splash a bit of blood about so they can go home feeling frisky to the wife. That's it, Wack. I'm a fighter who doesn't like hitting people anymore. Yeah, well, I once met a sex maniac who was shy. And I thought he had problems. Ruth knows. That's the reason I quit. Barney went bananas. Why, Willie, why? I can get you 50 grand a match guaranteed with your charisma. Charisma? The Mersey mouth. 
the disco punch-ups, the dolly birds, all that crap, showbiz. So when I said I'd come back for a good price, he set me up with, uh... He set me up with straw. I said I could waltz it. Even without a knockout punch. Do 15 rounds of, uh, dancing and take him on punts. Yeah. All right, he's got no science right and he's got no style. Right. Got... Yeah, but he has got a punch. And I'll tell you something, Sunbeam, you will not last 15 rounds. No sweat. The loser gets 20 anyway. Do all right for me tax. And what then, eh? You go back to the family looking like mashed potatoes. No more 50 grand fights, son, and soon no more fights at all. It costs money to live here, especially with Ruth and the kids. I mean, it costs a small fortune just to go to QPR and have a pint afterwards. Ah, who needs it? Maybe I'll go back to Jamaica. To do what? Open a restaurant bar. The Mersey Mouth Watering Hole. Throw in a couple of Mike Yarwoods. You ever seen my impersonation of Ari Belafonte? Tough. Still two to one on Reynolds. Eleven to two against Straw. That'll be ten p offer. Dave, you are getting very small-minded, and I am not the only person who's noticed it either. How does it work, Arthur? How's what work? How can you put a bundle on one bloke and still keep the odds short on a favourite? Oh, it's easy with a fight like this. I mean, everyone's going to back Reynolds, aren't they? I mean, he is the man. I mean, if Mohamed Ali was fighting tomorrow, you'd back him, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course you would. So you want a bundle on Straw? You spread it around. Pony here, century there, different bookies, you know. It's a rotten business. I suppose you've got your bundle on him, haven't you? Couple of bob. Well, I mean, after all, you, uh, you did tip me the wink about Willie's weakness. Yeah, it's lousy, Arthur, and you know it is. It is business, my son. It is dog-eat-cat in this world today. I mean, I often wonder to myself, what has happened to all the happy, smiling bus conductors? Or the service you used to get? I mean, whatever happened to flying boats? Meanwhile, all those punters out there who put their money on Reynolds are going to lose it, right? Because they think the fight's kosher. <laughs> Boxing kosher? Oh, <laughs> Terry, leave it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on, go on. Have a good laugh. Everyone else does. Boxing, blammy. Oh, no, no, no. Bent as a fiddler's elbow, dear. You're all right, there are a few crooks in the game, right? Oh, yeah. We accept that. But the geezers who get up there in the ring and do it, and they do it, they're OK. They're not Einstein, but they're OK. They're straight, Arthur. Do you remember what that is? All right, so they may not have the brains to make a mint of money. No, they leave all that clever stuff to intellectuals like you and Barney Mather. But these geezers, they get in the ring and they still believe that boxing is the noble art. They think, for some strange reason, there's something honourable about playing the game, doing it by the rules. They do it. And for them, and for some of us, it's kosher. Mm. Well, I'll go to our house. What has got up his nose, I would very much like to know. You're a real diplomat, Arthur, I'll say that for you. Yeah, one of the old school. You could export hot pastrami to the Vatican. All I said... All you said was too much. Hey, hey, not enough. Come on, you're 10p light. Cover charge. No, no, wait, look, I, I didn't even ask for that. Force it down here. It's mad on everyone today. <laughs> really working him, aren't you, Barney? Hey! 
Hey, Terry, wait! Wait! Deu! Oh, Deu! Come, let's know this guy, right? <coughs> what the hell's going on here? Tell me something, McCann. What? Are you serious or are you just all mouth? <laughs> Am I just mouth? <laughs> oh, dear oh Lord. You all right, my son? Do you? Hey, stop! There you go. Same time tomorrow, then? Yeah. I'll tell you what, you win this fight, I'm gonna be the one who needs a minder. Shut up. What's up, Willie? Oversleep? My boy gets a good night's rest. A man who does that is a man who's confident. So's Jack Straw. Confident? Eleven to two against. <laughs> What's his problem, Carl? He can't. What do you do with straw, mate, eh? Stuff it in a punch bag, don't you? No, don't worry, mate. I won't even spoil your makeup. Smudge. Hey, what a fag. Champ. Come on, let's go back to the flat and have a shower, eh? No, 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 my flat. <sighs> Behave yourself. Charlie! Yes, Mr. Maver. Got a job for you. Feel good, Terry. Look, it's all very well being able to do a three-minute mile, but we're not up against Sebastian Coe, are we? Hang... How'd you feel about thumping people? Hang about. I'll lick it. That talented trainer, Jack Benjamin, will be attempting the double. Morning, gents. Drinking? Nice surprise, Barney. Jack won the race last year. I've heard some very wicked things about your lad, Albert. Terry? What's he been up to? Everything all right, Arthur? Everything's fine, yeah. He looks a bit off colour to me. He just needs some fresh air, that's all. We'll take him out for a ride later on and cheer him up. Won't we, Charlie? Yeah, we'll take him out for a ride later and cheer him up. It's all right, Dad. Oh, what's my lad been up to? Slide off. What are you talking about? Da, 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 da. I'll explain outside. What's wrong with explaining inside? Well, it's uh, it's all a matter of, um, you know, it's uh, a little bit difficult. Oh, you've got a wonderful way with words, Arthur. You mean I've been fired, eh? No, 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 not fired. Golden handshake. Mr. Mather was very, very generous. Come here. <coughs> sorry. Don't you have any say in this, Willie? I'm sorry, what? Come on. Get off of me. We never did sort out your punching problem, did we, champ? But I'll tell you what to do. You have a look around you. Because these nice gentlemen here, 
They're using your skin to make a packet. Go on, you have a good look. And when Jack Straw starts hurting you, you remember their faces. Or on the other hand, maybe you're right. Yeah, if you can't beat them, join them, eh? Still, there's always the Blue Rinse Brigade in Montego Bay, isn't there? And your Harry Belafonte impression. Give my love to your missus. You keep right away from here from now on. You too! Or someone's gonna start wearing crutches. <sighs> Pitiful. Come on, champ, get the lead out. Five rounds, let's see some of the old magic. Hey, Terry. Hey, Ter Terry, wait, wait. Yeah, I know, Arthur. You're sorry, you wanna buy me a drink. Shake hands, let bygones be bygones. No, 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 nothing like that. Well, what then? Do you really think Willie can win? I've got a bomb riding on Jack Straw. Listen. Ooh, one of these days, Arthur, one of these days. Ooh. Not very sociable, Terry. Oh, hi. Um, here's some of Willie's gear, all right? Well, thanks. I heard what happened. Yeah, well. I'm sorry. Fellas like Barney Mason ought to be. Well, whatever you want to say. I agree with. ta -da. Are you going to the fight tonight? No, no, I haven't been invited. Well, Willie said he'd see you back here afterwards. We're going to Jamaica tomorrow. Listen, do you know how everything works? I mean, telly and all that stuff? I won't be watching the telly. Yeah, well, uh... He's going to lose, isn't he, Terry? Who knows? At least we'll be rooting for him, right? I'll see it. Cheers. That'll keep him right. quiet. Thought you were going to finish it in four, Reynolds. Right. Loud mouth. Look at him. Go on, kill him, Jack. Kill him. Oh, oh, Jack. Oi, oi, you're the only loud mouths around here. Just keep it quiet, eh? Well, Reynolds has not yet won a round. By my count, I'm making five to straw. Six for this one. Since that amazing knockdown in the second, the Inca champion just, well, he just hasn't been able to dictate the pace as he used to. His punches are literally bouncing off his opponent as if there's no weight behind them. There goes the bell for the end of round six. I can't take much more of this. At least two ain't helping either. You get them in, will you, son? I'll see you're all right. I'm a bit light at the moment. A bit light? You're going to make a bundle out of this, aren't you? Bet on straw, didn't you? That's what you said. That is what you said, innit? Yeah. Well, you don't look like a bloke about to clean up. I switched. You what? Well, I worked it out. I mean, Mather gives you the elbow. There's Willie acting as if his right arm's gone when you leave. I, I know, it was because you was training him up. But what made you switch bets, you idiot? Look, you don't have to tell me about the fight game. I know all about that. I saw them John Garfield pictures, where he's paid to take a dive and win so he can spit in the eye of Zachary Scott. And all that to in and fro him, you and Willie, I thought, hello, what's going on here? What's a little bird trying to tell me? Young Terry's got Reynolds ticking over, I thought. He's not going to lose, after all, I thought. I trusted you, Terry. And look where he's bloody well got me. Now back to round seven. I'm sorry, Arthur. I'm really sorry. Well, that's it, I'm off. Yeah, where are you going, Terry? You're lapping this up, aren't you? Of course I'm not. What a thing to say. No, I was just wondering if there's any chance that he might, uh, you know? What, like John Garfield? Aren't you a bit old to believe all that Hollywood garbage? Old? Come on. Now hang about, Terry. Can't say any more, eh? No, dreadful. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. mate. Oh, dear Lord. What a bleak... <laughs> Terry, bloody old mate. Get away, you lass. Sit down, I'm a Oi, oi, what, what, where? I'm going to see Willie's missus and you're driving me. Willie's missus? Yeah. What for? 
It's called showing sympathy, Arthur. Being a pal, a friend in need of... Well, I might as well be talking Chinese no, with no, you. No, 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 no. I understand. I mean, what am I? Some kind of monster? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him rest at all. Not at all, Tom. How's the eye? No, no, he's all right, look. No, he's... Mm -hmm. Look, yeah. You can't take that one, boy. Oh, I'll leave that off. I was trying to get Radio 4. It's a programme on about T.S. Eliot's early life. What are you, Arthur? Some kind of monster. That's it there. Daily, Ruth, Ruth, Arthur Daly. Hello, love. Uh, should we come in? Come in. I'm surprised you're not at the fight, love. Oh, not even watching it on the box. Well, I, I just thought. Have you heard how the fight's going? No. Well, it... It's a bit difficult to tell at the moment, you know. He's in trouble. Listen, any chance of a cup of tea or something? Eh? Yeah. I cancelled the flight. I, uh, I fixed it so we could stay with my mum for a few days. I don't want the kids to see him, like... You know. Where's your mum live? In Warsaw. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, have you eaten? Oh, I'm not hungry. Well, I could knock you up a sandwich. There's some meat in the fridge. Really? Thanks, I couldn't eat a thing. Now I see a doctor is getting into the ring. Oh, my God, a doctor. We all just hope there's nothing seriously wrong. Oh, he went down hard and he stayed turn down. Turn that off. He hasn't moved hardly. What? That, turn it off. Oh, oh, yeah. oh thank God. Yeah. He's getting up. Hang about, who'd he say was on the deck? What? Turn it on quick. Terry. Turn it on. My word, what a desperate, bewildered man Jack Storm must be. He must have thought he had this fight in the bag. But he walked into that, suddenly that, that furious barrage to the ex-champion. I've, I've never seen a fight end so, so dramatically in all my life. He's bloody <laughs> And He's by won. my card here, yeah. Reynolds has lost He's the first won. nine rounds altogether and then He's suddenly won. came back in the ten to win by a knockout. This, this, this is quite, quite I incredible. I don't believe it. He's won. He's unique actually won. Of boxing. I, I just believe it. He's won. 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 Oh, look at his face. Yeah, but he won, didn't he? I'm looking for Willie's manager, Barney Mather. Barney! Oh, apparently Mr Mather's feeling too emotional to speak to us at the moment. How do you feel, like? Oh, man. Good on, Willie. Good on, you, <laughs> kid. Uh, look, uh, Willie, uh, just tell me something, Willie. You were down for nine rounds. A KO in the fence. How did you do it? I mean, that's a question everyone must be asked here tonight. Willie's won. Just told me to look out for Straw. He's a, 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 he's a,
he's a good fighter. He's a good man, but uh, I just got to look out for him. There's like all the, all the anger's on and the crooks, man, in this business, you know. Thanks, Terry, I owe you. Terry? Terry who, Willie? Hey, Ruth, put the kettle on. I'm coming home. Always knew he could do it. Didn't I tell you, Terry? Never give up till after the last round. Where there's life, there's hope. That's what John Garfield says. Yeah, I bet you're well pleased, don't you? All that though, and will you, mate? Hey? Hey, no, 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 no. I only, only had a couple of bombs. <laughs> That's not what your face told me when you thought he was losing. I oh, know, no, come on, Terry. You know I am not a betting man. Oh, my dear. I'm very pleased for you, my dear. Look, I'd just like to say... Yeah, it's his round. That is not what I'd like to say. No, it's good enough, though, isn't it? Now, what is this Don Perrin on everybody talks about? Where are you, Willie? Let him out, let him out. Great stuff, Willie. Great stuff.